Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Wells Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the 31st of August 2020 and the reading is dedicated to the sign of Scorpio. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're feeling comfortable with and just leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions, and you would like to have your own personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Um, you can also find all the information on how to contact me right below here into the YouTube Dropbox. On another note, if you um, have not yet subscribed to the channel and you do enjoy the messages and you do enjoy the channel, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always greatly appreciated. So without further further ado, let's begin this reading. What we want to know here is we want to get some advice. We want to get some advice on our relationship right now. We want to get some advice on uh, our relationship and, you know, the near future, what is just coming up. So let's turn these cards. I'm using fairy deck, uh, fairy uh, oracles. I'm also using uh, lover's oracles. So we have change, we have healing, we have compassion, I have unwanted thoughts and the past is behind you. Okay, so my dear friends, uh, let's begin here with the card of compassion because it is compelling me here. Now, the compassion is is what really, right? Compassion is by widening your circles of compassion for all of nature's creatures. Your spirit is just going to soar. That being said, compassion is really the manifestation of an emotional maturity. That's what it is. Your soul's going to become just wiser as your concern for the well being of others is going to broaden. Very important in your relationship. Upon seeing others in distress, you're going to feel their pain as if it was your own. Now, you and how could I say this? You endeavor to lessen their pain and you want nothing more than, you know, to see them feel better, of course. And so by the same token, compassion is really celebrating another's good fortune and joy as if it was your own. Now, this is the very heart of compassion itself altogether, the desire to deliver comfort and understanding and to do as to another as you would do for yourself. Now, this is a card of compassion. This is what uh, you should be doing into your relationship. And I'm talking about love relationship, but it's really good for all relationships altogether. So this is really, really important that you have compassion into your um, into your relationship. Don't be cold. Don't be, you know, because that is going to give absolutely nothing at all. And you know that you like to receive compassion also when it is turned for you to have that type of behavior. So it's really important to have some. It's really important to understand it also um, because it's lacking in a lot of relationships. And yet it is so very important. Now, I feel as though into this relationship here, I feel as though for many of you, this relationship is not going all that well. Uh, these are the messages that I'm getting. And I know that, you know, there are some relationships that are going well, and that's perfect. And everything I'm going to say here is good for you also. But I really, really, really feel like this here is a turning point for you into your relationship for most of you. Um, I really feel like, you know, I've got the change, I've got the healing, i got the compassion. I feel as though uh, this is going to be, there's going to be an end for you soon. Um, and this is not the topic of this reading, but I do have to say it because I'm in the um, messages here and advice for the present and the future, but I'm not all that sure that there's going to be a future in this case. Um, but that being said, let's continue the reading and, you know, it's general to everybody. Um, so really, the change expand your flexibility for change and you know you're going to enjoy the vitality of life ahead if you never ever 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 change you're never going to grow nothing is going to grow not just you nothing around you is going to grow you are going to stagnate nonetheless you're not just going to stagnate things around you are going to start dying they're going to start leaving and that is just not what you want everything comes in cycles everything grows such as the seasons the waters everything changes so it's really important as your relationship changes that you change with the relationship that being said if the changes are good for you if the changes are no good for you then you know you take whatever suits you and the rest you leave it aside if it's not good for you you try and find a you know 
a halfway point and if no halfway point is available nothing is possible and you're not good with this change then you know it is going to be up to you to make your decision on the relationship for that but I do have to say that you do need to um, evolve into the relationship you do need to change you do need to modify you do need to have compassion you do need to have um, really you need to have a, a great balance you really need to meet yourself into the middle and you know often we're you know you meet people and you're both from two different worlds you get together but you know you were brought up differently you have different sometimes you know you don't always share the same values or beliefs anyways all that to say that change is necessary within people that's how we grow that's how we modify ourselves that's how we're able to live with other people so it's very very important to work on the change if the change is good for you also i have the strange and strong feeling that there are a lot from um there's some hurt in this relationship and I feel as though there's also a lot of hurt in the past relationships that have not been healed. So please do very, very careful for that so you don't um, transpose the, um, the feelings from the um, the past relationships into this relationship. And, you know, in this relationship, whenever you know you have a fight or something doesn't go well or harsh words are said, it's really important to heal from them. So talk about it, uh, you know, resolve it, heal it and turn the page if necessary because because you can't just keep holding on to it like that. Um, and I have it here again. You see the past. The past is now behind you. You must leave it there. You must release it. You must embrace the new possibilities that are coming, the changes that are coming. A new path is available to you. You need to follow it with faith. That is coming soon. Um, and you know what? Again, with the healing, imagine if all the unwanted thoughts just dissolved into light just like that. Wouldn't it be fantastic? And that would create room for new opportunities and possibilities into your life. So please do uh, work on that. Very, very important. So that being said, this does conclude your reading. I said an awful lot. I hope you're able to take some of it in. You're going to apply it. If you do have any questions, you would like a personal reading, please contact me at romancevoltarot at gmail.com. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the following readings and have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being there.